report Anyways, on uh, uh, gtchannel.com. I, I drove this car for a week. Uh, this is the LX right here, it says. The UX LX, Lexus UX 250H F Sport. And H stands for hybrid. And uh, this is my write-up on it on none other than GT Channel. And I got to say, I was really, really, I, you know, I went into it thinking, I, I just, I don't like, you know, these small little crossovers. They're almost like, you know, it, it's a car pretty much, you know. I mean, it's just the status thing. But boy, when I got into this, I go, hey, man. This is actually okay, you know. Uh, of course, my golf clubs wouldn't fit unless I put down the front, uh, uh, the rear seats, which uh, I knew going in. But the thing was actually fun to drive, and it looked okay. Yeah, I mean, it looked good actually. You know, uh, you how about know, your knee board? Did you, does your knee board fit in there? My knee board is five five. It fits. Yeah, you will see my knee board this week weekend. <laughs> well, it's actually a surfboard. It's a small surfboard, but you know, I can't stand on it because. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think it's my knees. I really do. But, anyway. <laughs> but anyways, it's going. It goes against like uh, BMW X1 and the Mercedes GLA and the small, the small little. I, I think we could call them subcompact. Uh, okay. Cars. But uh, let's see. Um, let's it, see some more of these photos, Sam. I want to see more of these photos of the car that you took because you took these photos, no, right? Oh no, no, I only took this one. Oh, uh, where, where's the other photos, Sam? Who who took those photos? Uh, Toyota did or Lexus did. Oh, so this is just the only one because I, yeah. I was hoping to get some tips from you, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get any good tips. <laughs> oh, no, because this is because parked this on is... the side of the street when I was getting my onigiri rice ball. From yeah. <laughs> hey, Taro, that's pretty close to your uh, your your office, too. I you know, I've, ne I've never been there. It's good. I've, I've, I've got to check it out. I've got it's to very good. Out. It's very yeah. good. Okay. So anyways, um, back to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the interior, of course, was Lexus fit and finish. Beautiful. Um, I really, really enjoyed this car. And the this dang thing got 41, 38, so 39 combined uh, miles per gallon, which is wow. like crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah wow. it's great. Uh, Sam, yeah. does this have the UX entertainment system that you love so much? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, okay, so I don't like that that much because I uh, I'm still, uh, you know, give me a knob or you know something, but the the. Uh, I know you like putting your hands on knobs, Sam. It's a generation thing, right? I'm an older guy. The young guys might like that a lot better. But the steering was sharp. Uh, the car, you know, was well balanced. It did, of course, it's gonna understeer uh, on some of the tight stuff. But still, it was it was it was refreshingly and surprisingly good. The um, the thing it was the thing we, the the thing the trim I had was the F Sport, so it is gonna t handle better than the non f sport so mm -hmm. uh, just to give you that but the f sport i had was just it was really good and what does it starts at thirty six thousand dollars in ours with the f sport and all, the, all that stuff came at 45 grand so uh you know once you get all the goodies on there it does get up there you know but thirty six thousand dollars for this car you know a lexus with the fit and finish and the way it drives i thought yeah you know mm -hmm. not bad not yeah. bad would i recommend it to someone yes i would Yep. Would I uh, buy one on my own? Um, if I were going to buy a vehicle in this segment, yeah, I would take a very serious look at this. I mean, I would think I might even, my beloved BMWs and stuff, I think I'm, I would take this over the BMW. Really? Yeah. The Does it come standard with those roof racks or is that like? No, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's not standard. Yeah. Mm. So, but yeah, 39 miles. And, you know, I mean, I went to, uh, you know, the gas station to fill it up. Uh, and our gas is a, right now we're about three bucks a gallon, I think. Right. So, and you know, I go, wow, I kind of ran out of gas pretty quick because the driving range was only about 300, you know, 350 miles, but I, uh, it cost me 25 bucks to fill it up. So I go, wow. what the heck? This is awesome. Decent. So, yeah. So, uh, thumbs up for me. Uh, I don't know. What do you, do you guys like how it looks? I know, you know, it's not the most macho car, you know, I like I mean, it. I think, I think it looks good. Can we yeah. scroll down and see the Lexus photos, Sam, so we can maybe get a better representation of this blown out one in the, the middle of midday sun? Oh. <laughs> or is there no other photo? This is the only photo. Oh, this is it. This is it. You, you want a front shot? This is it, man. Look at this front shot. It's no, beautiful. but I want some other photo. I want some other angles, Sam. At least one. one. At least oh, you one. Got, oh, you got the rear and you got the side. What else you want? <laughs> Do we only get one photo? What? Just one photo. Yeah. Oh my word. Oh man. There you go. And if you want to read a really, really well written witty <laughs> on this, please go to GT Channels Features and uh, 
check out. I, I'm a better writer than I am a uh, uh, orator. So you can always take the press photos and put them in there, Sam. You know, that, I right? like my photo. In well, front that's of just one photo, though. You gotta. You so. Can, well, everybody wants to see more photos of the while well, they're reading I mean, the article. Yeah, well, uh, not, not you know, no. My my words paint the picture, so it's okay. <laughs>